Welcome to yet another interesting episode of the startup. In this episode, I meet a young entrepreneur. His name is Stephen Omolo. He started this company two years ago. After the break, his inspiring story. Don't go away. Welcome back. I'm now joined by Steve Omolo of Tenders Advert. Karibu sana Steve. Asante. Yes. Your journey, how did you start your journey? Our journey started way back. Uh, as any every businessman, you always try your hands on a few things here and there. Started off with hotel security and everything. But then I was still employed. Till late last year is when I resigned. And I uh, thought of starting a consultancy firm apart from what I've been doing, mm -hmm. just to sort out the business uh, problems that are normally encountered in every, you know, every other venture. Mm -hmm. so, so your consultancy is still a business, it's a startup? It's a startup. Mm -hmm. It's actually a few months uh, old. We started off uh, in November last year when we started with uh, one of our arms called Vacation. <coughs> Vacation Kenya mainly deals with hotels, whereby we go do video shoots and everything and try and create bookings for hotels and all that. So hotels have really, really gotten business through us. And for us, we've actually been able to grow and get to learn more about different, uh, how we can come up with solutions for different businesses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, you started with Vacation Kenya? Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, I know you have different products yes. that uh, are now your consultants. Exactly. Fact. Now mm -hmm. there's uh, Vacation Kenya and the Chanel's group of companies, mm -hmm. whereby now we're offering business solutions. That's how Tender Adverse came about. I, being a procurement specialist, I thought, what better way rather than to start something that I was used to, uh, that being a site where you're able to download tenders. Mm -hmm you are actually able to even apply for performance bonds and bid bonds and the like. You have created partnerships with an organization uh, uh, such as Credit Bank through Marzel Investment. This way, um, the general public can actually apply for performance bonds mm -hmm. and bid bonds through our system, wow. be able to get it uh, within an hour. We, by the time you apply for it, it takes us an hour to deliver it straight to your office. It's that instant. Wow. Um, it has been a solution equally for those who wish to advertise and everything. It is equally an advertising platform. Uh, the public has taken it very, very well. We've made good business from it. From then, we equally got into marketing. Um, since you know where there's procurement, there's suppliers, and there's marketing and everything. Yes. And we thought, yes, you are going into advertising and all. Why don't you equally try and sell on behalf? You know, try and push businesses forward and give them ideas on how to grow and all that. Apart from those in the hotel field through Vacation Kenya. And that is how we have just been coming up. Of late, we thought of the HR function. You find many businesses could actually acquire loans. But within less than six months after they started, they actually end up collapsing. <laughs> either because they lack marketing knowledge, either they don't have the right set of skills through the um, HR personnel that they employ, and those are the solutions I try and uh, fix. Wow. You know? So now we started off another site called Ajiriwa. <laughs> Ajiriwa will assist with the employment factor in the sense that um, anyone who is looking for a job or wishes to switch jobs can upload their digital video. It's the first site whereby you can actually upload a video of your skills and everything. Mm -hmm. It's free of charge for those people who are applying for jobs. Mm -hmm. But to charge the employee just a small commission to be able to connect connect him to the to a database, him or her to a database. And that has been a journey for us. Wow. So providing business solutions has been my main aim. Mm -hmm. For the better part of this year. Wow. Yes. I know one of your products that is uh, from Tenders Advert is the car, this particular product that I'm holding in my hand, and yes. the car waste bike. Tell me the story of this. First of all, congratulations. 
thing. Tell me the story of Car West Bag. Um, when we came up, the Car West Bag actually was just an idea that came about uh, when I almost got stuck in traffic through the flooding. You know, it was flooded, the seat was flooded and all that. And I felt it was the litter that would throw out of the car windows that actually contribute to this. <laughs> I'm a firm believer of if I want change, change starts with me. Wow. And that's what I preach. Change starts with you. Take that step today, you know. What solution you, can yes, you give to the, exactly. to the society? And that's when I thought, why don't I come up with a car whisper? And even as I was coming up with it, I actually put it a tender for it. And uh, we felt letters awarded to a company that gives back to the society. Wow. You know, an NGO that seeks to uh, educate orphans and takes up women uh, who are disadvantaged from the slums, Kibera slums. Mm -hmm. And those are the women who are actually earning and the kids are actually getting educated through our banks, wow. you know, through this initiation and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, from then, it has actually turned out into a campaign. Yeah, as much as you advertise ourselves through the bags and actually telling other companies, advertise yourselves through this. One, you create it's a CSR thing. You're giving back to the community. <laughs> Secondly, you know you're part participating in environmental conservation. That's true. There's no better way than to sell your business and position yourself than uh, to be seen as. You know, an environmental, you're going eco friendly. Eco friendly, yeah. yes. So the bugs has been that, and that's why you're actually having an event coming up called the Sufficient Sufficient Aerobic, Sufficient Aerobic Campaign. Sufficient Aerobic Campaign. Yes. Uh -huh. Whereby you want uh, different organizations to come on board, brand the bugs, and then you can give it out to the general public. Wow. And the general public will actually come and participate in the cleaning exercise. Wow. We'll clean up that city. Whenever you clean the city, you need to provide solutions for people to be able to actually retain it. That's true. Know, maintain the cleanliness and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, we feel the car waste bag is, we provide that particular avenue. Mm -hmm. So how does this work? I hang it in Mecca? Yes, you hang it in Mecca. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see here from this photo. Yes. It's very simple. Just put it around your vehicle. Yes. And uh, once you do that, you're able to throw it either on the gear lever. Yes. Or on the back seat. You know, your front car seat, but on the back side. Wow. So that guys seated at the back are able to throw in the litter. Even the public uh, for service the, vehicle. For the public service vehicles, we are here. We are ready to design for you anything that fits your vehicle. You know, for other people, they want to make fashion statements and everything. We are there to do and make sure we're able to give them you know, quality service and everything by designing the bags that fit their tastes and all. Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you intend to make money? Um, the bags retail at uh, 500 shillings only. And you're asking companies to equally brand. We are, this is a form of advertisement. As you can see, hotels brand in this. When uh, tourists visit the country and use those cabs because they display them at the airport, they give them to their guests, you know, guests who are traveling abroad and everything. When they get abroad and put this in their cars, you know, they carry probably their neighbor, their friends, associates, able to get, you know, to notice the name and the brand of the car. Is like true, true, true. The virtue that it's a unique, uh, it's a very unique uh, form of advertising never seen, never done anywhere else before. That's true. And that's what we hope to make cash on. Uh -huh. yes. Now, in all this, since you started the business, what challenges have you faced? Uh, this being a new concept, Kenyans tend to, you know, they take time to adapt to it. Like it's probably there is the, the no need to of innovation. It. Exactly. Yes. And the worst thing is that most people are used to paperbacks. The same, same problem actually leads to all this flooding and everything. So it's someone, someone will tell you, I'm used to a paper bag, I'll put my things and throw it out. Mm. That throwing out is actually where we came up with the bag for wow. the first place. Mm. Fine. Because mm. now the issue is that we need to do a lot of civil education. And we're trying to reach out to the different government agencies to help us in this, you know. Even if it's to take these to kids in school, teach them about environmental conservation. conservation. Tell them this is what you need to do to avoid this. You can't get to Vision 2030 
with a dirty city. That's true. You know, it is one of the milestones. Environmental, uh, actual conservation is one of the ma- uh, the key milestones for the Vision 2030, and yes. that can only be achieved when the country takes such steps. That's true. Yes. That's true. You are a trailblazer in this particular industry. What are some of the lessons that you've learned while in business? Um, one of the key uh, lessons I've actually learned in business is that at times you might focus, you know, do your projections and hope to make this much, but in the long run, that's actually not what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah? You might actually come up with such an idea and you feel the whole country will embrace it, the whole world will be in your back. <laughs> but in real sense, in the long run, really that is not what happens. Mm-hmm. So yes. you need to do a lot of market research. There's a lot of market research. Observations, and all you those see, things. You don't give up. There has to be continuous improvement. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow, wow. What advice can you advise other business startups outside there? I can actually advise them to embrace technology. No business can survive without advertisement. As it was, this is uh, one of our main advertising platforms whereby we're able to use the big bugs. Yes, we went for the PSBs and everything. Uh-huh. If I put these out there, actually, in a PSV, in a PSV, for that matter, by the way, I love a thousand plus people because it's a 62 seater. That's true. It does to do like over 15 rounds around the city in one day. Mm-hmm. Multiply that 15 by 62. Wow. Those are the so number of people who see eyes. your ad yes. in a day. In a day. That's multiply true. that in a month. And you can imagine your whole brand yes. displayed in this particular yes. bag. And guess what? This brand alone mm-hmm. just cost you 800 shillings. How cheap or how effective First are you saved all, on your advertising cost? Apart from that, yes. right? environmental. Exactly. Tidiness inside that PSV. Exactly. And again, now for the marketers and your clients, the branding aspect. The branding branded. aspect of it. Wow. wow. So you're able to make, you're selling yourself your service. Mm-hmm. You're actually selling another tool of advertising where people contact you and tell you, even me, I want my company branding there. Mm-hmm. And that's what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Two years from now, three years from now, where should I see Chanel's groups of companies? Uh, you'll see us in other, you're actually going global. Mm-hmm. You're planning to open uh, more offices around East Africa because of the East African uh, integration. integration and all. We're equally planning to actually sell the tourism overseas in Paris, in, France, uh, in Paris, in the UK, that's what we're actually looking towards. Mm-hmm. Like, come hotels will brand their bags, we will be able to go distribute it, you know, abroad. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Thank you so that's much. That's what you're actually targeting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Wonderful. Much. In fact, I've learned uh, and you've challenged me and uh, other people who are watching the startup currently, how visible is your business? Yes. That is the key challenge. Thank, Thank you. you so much, brother. All Thank the you. best, by the way. Thank you very much. After the break, how they were started. Then later on, a startup's expert. Don't go away.